and welcome to Sierra Make. This week is another mask video, but unlike the one from before, I will be making a reindeer snout to go with these antlers I got right here. So let's go check it out. Here is the pattern I made for this project. I will link it in the description down below along with any materials I used. The pattern is of course free, but if you want to support me and you want to make this mask, go ahead and click on the affiliate links down in the description for the other materials. The way I made this snout mask pattern is I took the existing one that I used in the other two videos and I extended the nose section and I also made a few adjustments like near the chin so that it would slope upwards into a shape that I felt like fit my face better. I tried to see how a mouth would look on this mask pattern, but no matter what I did, it all kind of looked either really, really goofy looking or creepy, which seems to be my MO. So <laughs> we are not going to put a mouth on it. We're just going to make it look super, super basic and it will hopefully still read as a reindeer mouth. So here are the antlers I'll be using, and I managed to find this brown fabric in my fabric pile, so it matches close enough to the color. So this is what I will be using. I'm just going to grab a small piece of that fabric and place my pattern on top of that and cut it out. Oh, remember that this fabric is doubled up, so you should end up with two pieces. We will just set these aside and take out our featherweight interfacing to cut out that same pattern. I recommend using interfacing in your masks because it adds another layer of filter and it also adds some stiffness to the shape of it so it doesn't really suction to your face as much as other masks. So now we are just going to take our brown pieces of fabric and place our interfacing on top of it. This interfacing is fusible iron-on so I'm just going to iron this on to the fabric and we will move on there you can see it's ironed on now we just fold each of these in half and we are going to sew along here and on the chin portion on both of these make sure to only sew up to the tip of the nose because i definitely forgot i accidentally sewed it <laughs> i just zoned out and started stitching and uh now I have to open it all the way back up. I always have to make some kind of mistake when I'm making these projects. Anyways, make sure that you pick a thread that matches as close as possible to your fabric to sew with so that you don't see it in the seams. Here are my pieces sewn on the outer mouth curve and now I'm going to flip one inside out and put it inside the other so that the interfacing is facing outward on both sides. Next we will sew along the top here and the bottom there. There we go, now let's just flip it inside out. And now we're going to take those outer edges and fold them down inside on themselves. It's a little hard to see because the fabric is brown on brown, but you're just going to fold it so that the raw edge is hidden inside and sew along this outer bit <laughs> right here. Now that that is sewn up, I'm just going to grab this 32 inch long piece of elastic and a plastic needle and we're just going to thread one end of the elastic through one side of the mask and then do the same to the other end like so and then we are just going to tie those two ends together finally on to the last festive touch is a red pom-pom i have a plain one and a sparkly one but i decided to go with the sparkly one because it was a little bit more fun so i'm grabbing a needle and red thread which is out of shot <laughs> and i am threading it through the tip of my mask and then through the pom-pom and back again and I do this a few times just to really lock the pom-pom in place and then we're going to tie it off. And here it is!
our super simple festive mask. See how it is more of a snout shape? Honestly, I am super happy with how this turned out. It totally gives me like a dog snout shape face and it fits so much better, especially under the chin than the other masks. Not to mention the red pom-pom makes it super fun and festive and you know exactly what I'm supposed to be. There are these little creases here by the nose because I made the top of it flat, but honestly, it adds to the effect of the snout shape. So here we are at the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video. Comment down below if you thought it was a good project. And please subscribe because I post every Friday at 3. Thank you for watching. Mm-hmm.